Hey guys, welcome back to blog.web6.org. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can add logo to our 2011 theme. So in WordPress 3.2, and this is actually my local host installation of WordPress, and you see I have a logo here. So uh, we're going to apply or to add this logo to this, uh, our new blog. So how we can do it? So this is actually I'm continuing uh, my last tutorial creating child theme. So as you can see now, we have a red uh, title here, post title. So uh, now we're going to add logo into this site. So uh, of course you have to log into your dashboard and we are using still the child theme of 2011. And the next step is you create a logo.bng file. And I've created logo.bng file, a dimension 200 times 36 pixel here. And then now we're going to upload it to our web server. So where do we have to upload this uh, image to our web server? It's not uh, different than our 2010 theme. We are going to upload that into our child theme of 2011. So this is the directory where you install WordPress and then you go to wp-content. Click on that and themes. And here it is, our child theme of 2011, my 2011. Click on that. We're going to upload that image here, but first we're going to create a new folder called uh, images folder. Right, and then we're going to open that images folder, upload the image. Don't forget that you register the size first with the Yahoo Smashet or something like that. And the image, there it is, logo.bng, open. Right, it's complete. Now we go back to where we were. Uh, we refresh or reload. And here it is our logo.png file, which is inside the images folder. The next step is we're going to go to our blog again where we want to upload our, uh, uh, add our logo. And actually this is in header in here the part of 2011. So in that case, we have to go to the original 2011 folder here and open it. And we're going to copy header.php, which is in here it is, header.php. And then we're going to copy and delete this. And then remember our new folder, our own template, child template from 2011 called my 20. 11 folder copy files there we're going to up one level check it if it's there and there it is now we have header.php file we're going to edit it code editor right and then we're going to inspect that uh, with firebug and if you have done so I have uh, I only can recommend firebug this very cool add-on here it is, site title, HID site title. I'm going to look that code around these sentences. We will see. There it is, site title. You see H1ID site title. So around here, we're going to uh, add some code. And this is the closing A from H1. ID site title and this is the your blog name. Actually this piece of code is displaying uh these sentences. So now we're going to replace these sentences into a logo. So where was it? Here it is. And now right before that uh piece of code we're going to add our own code which is adding image. So IMG source and then equal and quotes quotes and then um, another one alt and then width remember the width was 200 pixel and then height was 36 pixel 36 like that right and then closing so now we're going to uh, add PHP code here where we save our logo. In this case, we're going to type in 
uh, PHP and then echo we want to display plug info and then uh, parentheses and closing the PHP uh, code so now actually you want to uh, pass something in this parameter which is uh, usually uh, between these quotes we're going to template directory usually but now we are working in child uh, theme so we're going to replace that template directory into style sheet underscore directory and then here we add where was it where it was in images uh, folder and that file called logo.png so that's it and another one now we we want to pass uh, the old and you remember that text is actually here so when we uh, inspect with firebug this text is actually this one so we want to move that text into the old part of this code so cut that and copy paste that in alt of the image so what it does is actually when that uh, code when that uh, site name is uh, replaced it's replaced by the image so it's actually um, not bad for the uh, SEO purpose for your blog so now we're going to save changes and ref uh, refresh our blog And if I resize my window, you see that image is very big. And we don't want that. We want that to be exact uh, width and height of that thing, uh, of that logo itself. So we're going to inspect that. And it's actually called in um, this image. It's actually on the site title h1 id site title and image so id site title so what we're going to do is we're going to edit the style.css now go to editor and we're going to inspect that and copy this copy and go back to our style.css uh, and uh, oops after these brackets we're going to hit enter and paste that in id so h1 id uh, site title and then img and uh, hit enter and we're going to specify with which is 200 pixel and height uh, 36 pixel now we're going to save and then refresh you notice that the uh, dimensions is now uh, uh, reducing into its original file that we've uploaded and if we resize our window it's still the same and it's not getting bigger so that's it actually you can replace this logo to anything you like but now if you want to uh, take this just another wordpress site gone with actually i would let this uh, text staying there because uh, it's not bad and it helps in uh, search engine optimization, I think. And But now first, if you click on that uh, image, you see that we still have the block name somewhere. So where it is? There it is, title. There it is. Right? And that's better. It's much better when you want to... Uh, eliminate or delete completely at all from your blog and if you want to delete this just now the WordPress site notice that it is inside the HID site descriptions so I'm what I'm going to do is you're going to copy that and h1 ID and uh, continue the editing style.css here and then I'm going to uh, h2 id site description and then inside these brackets i'm going to text 
indent 999 pixel. We, when I save changes and refresh it, the tag should be gone. So we will see. Oh, I'm on my local host. So I'm going to delete this and this one actually. So I'm going to refresh it and it's gone. Then you still have your logo. Uh, but I don't recommend it to let that uh, site description stays there, I would say. Okay, so so that's how we can add logo to our chart theme of 2011 theme. So thank you for watching and take care. Goodbye.